Alright guys, I'm ready to talk about Man of Steel. I'll get it. a lot of people have a lot of problems moving more than I thought they did. So now. Where the hell am I? And, oh, that's right. I was wearing this last week. So anyway, I wanted to talk about Man of Steel. Because one year from now, the Batman v Superman movie is coming out. And basically, this movie is pretty much why I wanted to start Warner Wednesday to begin with. The world's too big, Mom. So, I'm going to give 10 reasons why those 10 complaints aren't as bad as people make them out to be. Can you see it? I see it. I didn't really see what the big deal was. Yeah, you saved a dog, but... So what? You saved somebody, that's, that's pretty noble. Or something. That's pretty noble. Okay, yes, there was like a million different ways Pa Kent could have lived or saved that dog. But you know what? Um, animal rights activist probably likes Superman. Hell, he saved a cat once. What was I supposed to do? Just let him die? Maybe. Okay, yes, I agree. He shouldn't have said that. I didn't have a problem with the message, but he could have said it differently. Instead of saying maybe, he could have said, I don't know. Okay, next one. You just have to decide what kind of man you want to grow up to be, Clark. No. Why they want you? No. Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with a little savior symbolism. Jesus and Superman basically go together like butter and bread. Huh. Looks like, uh, my red shirt's, like, been resurrected. It must be a Jesus symbolism. You have to keep this side of yourself a secret. Hey! Come on now, there's nothing wrong with a Instagram styled color filter. Maybe it's more like X Pro or Lo Fi, but. Why does everything taste purple all of a sudden? Okay, look, I had no problem with the choice of visuals they did. If anything, it makes it individual and unique compared to other superhero films. I welcome it personally. Out of order flashbacks. What the hell was that? Oh, come on! Can we please get some consistencies here? I feel like I'm in a game of red versus blue. He must be one smart son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! You think? Honestly, I thought the flashbacks were decent. Keeps the origin story somewhat original. I heard it was ripped off from another movie I haven't heard of, but. It works here. You know, it works for Superman, at least. <sighs> I 
I completely agree. There was like no chemistry at all. Well, like 1% maybe. So we'll see how that turns out in the Batman slash Superman versus DC Universe movie, whatever you want to refer to it as now. Um, I'm just going to touch upon this briefly because uh, I need like a two-week hiatus. Seriously. So, yeah, I liked Lois in this film. Unfortunately, they just completely missed the point of why Clark and Lois were together. Uh, granted, I don't think she's useless as most people think she was, but she could have done more, and I hope she does more in the upcoming DC Shared Universe films. So, in two weeks, two weeks, I'll do part two. I need a vacation.